Hi there, it's Ben here from Bright Network, uh, and this is a how-to series video all about commercial awareness. A lot of you might be a bit confused by the term, but all it is very simply is understanding how businesses and industries work and how they all work together and how stuff affects different industries and different businesses. So you may have uh, political stories, economic stories, and how they actually impact on the world around you. Um, it's something that I know a lot of students worry about. Our research suggested that it was one of the skills they really wanted to improve. So hopefully this video with a few top tips in here will make you really understand what it's all about and how you can improve it throughout your time at university. So my first top tip regarding commercial awareness is join clubs and societies. So at your university there might be a commercial awareness society, but if not there's business societies, finance societies, get involved with them, you'll start using the day-to-day -day terminology in the sectors and industries that you kind of want to, want to go into. And plus if you're part of a society, whatever the society might be, you're kind of running small business entities, you know, that represent their members, uh, put on events, whatever it might be. So it actually gives you some really good, like real commercial awareness. My second tip on commercial awareness is think about what you're reading. I'm not advising you to read the FT from cover to cover every single day. I actually think uh, our publications like City AM are really good, a bit more concise and give you the stuff that you really need to know. Plus there's loads of great summaries of the news, so if you're in times where you're not applying directly, you can just keep up to date by sort of reading those summaries. Bright Network do a weekly commercial awareness update, um, but there's also sector specific ones uh, based on the industry that you might want to go into. My next tip is all about making connections between interrelated things. So you need to read the stories and uh, take them in, but you also need to be really thinking about how different stories impact on different firms um, and different sectors. So um, let's say you're talking about oil price going up, how would that impact on, on a business? Maybe they operate in the Middle East and that will actually have a, a direct impact on, on the operations they do. So really, really do start making those connections between things. And then when it does come to an interview, you'd be really good at connecting different news stories to the firm that you're actually applying to. My fourth tip is all about understanding the structures of business. Understand in sectors you're applying to how these businesses are set up, how they make profit, the product, products on the market, and really gauge, try and work out how these businesses are run day to day, how they make the decisions they do and why they're making those decisions. It'll really give you a better understanding of kind of the, the commercial world uh, and how everything is kind of related to each other. My final tip, uh, and probably the best one, is to try and set something up yourself, maybe a little venture um, or a small business. This will give you really, really good kind of commercial awareness, really understanding how you can set up businesses, what challenges business face. If this might seem a little bit, bit far-fetched, you've got lots going on at university, um, why not just do something quite related to, to the sector you want to go into? So if you think about maybe if you want to go into trading or investment banking, um, you could set up a portfolio and start you know, FX trading, whatever it might be. Um, and if you're saying, saying to me, oh, I don't want to risk money and start trading, there's loads and loads of places where you can do sort of uh, st simulated uh, trading accounts and you can start sort of trading uh, like you would uh, in real life. Thank you so much for watching the commercial awareness how-to series video. Um, I hope you found it useful. As I say, we send a commercial awareness update um, on Monday evenings. If you're a Bright Network member, all you need to do is update your profile on your profile edit and you'll start receiving those. And as I say, if you do have any questions, do get in touch with me directly. Uh, I tend to manage our commercial awareness here. Uh, so it's ben at brightnetwork.co.uk. Uh, look forward to hearing from you soon. Thanks.